Jesus sleeps. There is silence. The whole world is in poise and pause. The holy sacrifice is not celebrated. They have taken away my Lord. This is the silence of the tomb. Chateaubriand, the great French author, says, Le chant naturel de l'homme est triste. The natural chant of man is sad. Our funerals are sometimes more heartfelt and prayerfully authentic than our weddings. We are in our truth. And so it is that we need to feel the pain, the loss and the silence on Holy Saturday and wait. It is also a time to anticipate our own laying to rest in the ground, for we are all equidistant from eternity, and that corresponds to every soul that passes through time ever. And at the moment of death, we all have the same unknown experience. Oh, so this is what death is like. And the soul escapes and flies and then is left in the mercy of the one who made it. But its work is done and it goes with its baggage. This all hit me between the eyes in the early 80s in France when in the Carthusian cell I came across the purgatory manuscript and patiently translated it into English. It was this nun that had died unprepared and through mercy was allowed to ask for help from a holy nun who was still alive in her community. And for years we had this strange account of the beyond, bit by bit, unfolding. Just the other day, somebody put it to me, that should be properly published. And so I thought maybe I could at this stage do it. There is a press not far from here probably would. And so I thought, how strange it is that a nudge can actually mean a lot, and a word can lead to many words. Those two nuns are now long in the beyond, but their words go on. And so it is that when we are in the tomb, sometimes we can still be heard. Le manuscrit du purgatoire, the manuscript of purgatory. This I wrote when I got it in my cell in the early 80s, and I knew it had to be known. The manuscript that lies before my eyes, unknown to this wide world unknown to me till yesterday, hath travelled through the skies and comes directly, gracious Lord, from thee. I hold the greatest gift that I e'er held, save those e'en greater common to each soul, a joy unknown within my heart hath welled. My little body bursts, my massive cowl. 
This must be known. It is an atom bomb that Providence hath planted in this cell. The choice is mine. It can once more become forgotten, as desires the ruse of hell. Or, passing through the filter of my brain, it can, in English, walk the world again. Where wast thou, Christ, on this dark day? So dark that none in church may pray, that all the earth no sacrifice may be received in paradise. My Lord, they've taken away, I hear. Where have they laid my treasure dear? The real absence fills the tent for which this day no wing is bent. The very angel hosts have flown from this their nest, and no more own the sacred sleeping neath their feet. No lamp reflects their light and heat. This is the day on which the holy sacrifice is not offered, and we do well to feel the burst of the real presence returning, the flash, the uncreated light that breaks from the depth of the dark tomb. Christus factus est pro nobis obediens us meam mortem mortem autem Propter quone et eius exaltavit illum et deedit illum quod est superum 